What's going on, people? Good morning. It's October 11th. I'm here in my garage, filling under the weather, so I wasn't able to get out and do any hunting today. Uh, so tomorrow, my plan is to hopefully overdose on medicine tonight to see if I can get in, get up early with my older brothers and friends, a couple of my friends, and uh, see if we can hit, uh, what is that, Burt's Dam, see if we could try to get us a couple salmon for some eggs. I want my brown trout to go on my wall, so I'm sitting here in the garage, um, about to whip up some sinkers, well, some split shot. I have my Lee melting pot, I have my split shot modes. Uh, mix various different sizes. I got old lead that I got from work. My Lee melting pot I got off of uh, what was this eBay for like 40 bucks. And I'm gonna sit here probably whip up whip up maybe 60 to 70 split shots. I already got an ink it already in here melting down. I got some once I run that. I got a couple of those scraps of some lead. And I'm just going to go in there and clean up and then make an ink it and then probably make some more lead. But that's about it. Once this all warmed up, I'm going to set you up so you can watch me make uh, my first run. See what happens. That's why you do it outside. Lead fumes, it's no good. Kill you. I'm sure you're doing it in a well-ventilated area. Got my pick set. Just make sure it's... The spot's clear. Everything's good. No, no obstructions going in and out perfectly. I got my uh, mold warming up on top. Okay, I'm gonna be sitting down here. Step out your way. Lay a piece of cardboard down because I'm on a glass table, and if that hits the glass table, it's a wrap. Shatter everywhere. So, see what I can do on my first run. It's just that simple. It's in there. I only do a couple sizes. Now when I did the whole run, this one we did a couple. Matter of fact, I'm gonna fill it up. Just get this whole Lee melting pot, man. I love it. Bring it back when they're cool. Alright, let's see what it looks like. Oh, oh, got my a little hot one. Perfect split shot, so all I gotta do is cut off the bullet head and uh, throw them in some, some nice cold water, harden them up a little bit, and I'm ready. I'll show you guys how I break them off. Remember, they still got some heat to them. So you can inspect them, see what you got going on, see what they look like. Then I take my needle nose, grab it by the head, and side to side while they're still warm. Breaks off just like that. Oh, focus, focus, focus. Home focus, oh well. And then the extra leg go right back in the pot. Like I said, keep going, doing that. Wiggle. You inspect your uh, split shot, make sure it's got the teeth to bite your line or whatever. If you got enough lead, man, and you got the mold, you ain't got to buy split shots ever again. Just take a couple hours, prep, make your ingots and all that other good stuff. Now this is kind of a big one. This one's 
perfect. Perfect split shot with the teeth. Everything's nice on these ones. So like I said, I'm going to make only about 60 of them. I got some at home already. Basically making these for... Uh, I usually make them early in the season. Before hunting season, but since I got sick... The first opening week of hunting season... I, uh... This is what I'm doing. I'm doing them now. I got a little leak start. More. Drop these. Usually, what I can do is uh, you you pull them off just a little bit. It kind of opens them, you know, or closes them, and then you rock them out. But this one didn't do it the way I wanted it to do, so I have to grab it. And that's only because if I didn't put the uh, the mold back on on top, so it's not warm anymore. See, that's a bad one. The back teeth didn't look right. It's going right back in the pot. These small guys, man, I love for trout. Love them. You throw two of these little guys on on the rod. So this time I'm going to put it right back on the top to warm up. One of these are bad, the other one's good. It's all about consistency with your pour. Your pour's got to be nice and slow. I probably got maybe 20 of them over here already. Alright, all done now. I made 98. I got them set up by 10s, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 8 here. So I got 98 split shots. Lee did really good. I got it all cleaned out. So I'm all ready to do some salmon fishing in the morning. Hopefully I'll bring one home to slap on the Traeger or the outhouse smokehouse. I don't know which one I want to use, but most likely the Traeger. So we see what happens. Hopefully I feel a little better because right now I'm feeling still sick. So I'm going to go home take some Robitussin and hopefully hop in the car at 2 a.m. and on my way to Burt's. I'll see you on the water.